Hello, welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama nut case puzzle. Which means I'm going to show you the exact position that those nuts need to be in and the ideal position as well because there's a, there's a few positions that you can be in where you end up having to repeat the same process two, three, four times because you're not quite in the right position at the very start. We're going to separate all five pieces and then I'll show you how you can put them all back together which is a slightly different process. Now the nutcase puzzle is a level 6 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale and it is a level 10 out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. So this is a tough one, this is a very very tough one. And if you haven't already got the nutcase puzzle then you can pick it up from our website puzzlemaster.ca and without further ado, let's crack on with that solution. Okay, so here we have a fully assembled nut case puzzle. And you've probably seen on the box, that this is made up of actually five pieces. You've got the two nuts that are free to sort of move around the, the two bolt pieces. And then there's also a smaller nut on the inside of all those four pieces that it's almost like our aim to, to get that small nut out. Now, for actually solving this puzzle, what we need to do first is identify where we're going to be lining these two nuts up. Because this puzzle separates by simply lining these nuts up in an exact, precise position and we can then separate the bolt pieces from there. And that'll make more sense when you do this or when you see me do this. So first of all, we need to know what we're going to be using to line these nuts up in the right position. Now there's no way of distinguishing between each end of the bolt pieces. So for this as well, there's gonna be sort of like a 50-50 chance that you pick the right side. But what you'll notice as you look at the middle of the bolt is it's split into six equal sections. Now some of those sections are solid, like there's no sort of separation between that piece and that piece. But you'll notice that some, like on this piece here, that there is sort of, there. that is one of the bits where the two bolts are in separate positions. Now as you move around, you'll notice that there are three points at which there are a continuous gap. So there's a gap here, there's a gap here, and there's a gap here. We're going to be using that middle gap as our base point for then moving these nuts around the puzzle. So once you've found that point, there's a gap there, gap there, gap there, we're using the middle one. You want to separate the nuts so that they are as far away from each other as they can possibly go. And this sort of helps you skip a step of refinding the correct positions or alignments for these two nuts to then separate further. And that doesn't make much sense right now, but if you do make that mistake, you'll notice or you'll know you'll figure out what I mean by you have to realign it to then separate it full or fully. So what we're gonna do, we've got where are we? So we've got the middle point here. And with the nut on the right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up that line between the S and the E on the word case. And if you've got the right side and the right position, you'll notice that when you pull the two bolts apart, this this nut barely moves. It sort of sits in position. And so I know for a fact now that I'm on the right side. I've got it the right way around. It, it's, it's not this way around, it's this way around. And then what we do with the left one is we want the word case on top of this point here. So this is that middle point that we're lining up with. There's two blank sides of the nut case. The word case is on top. The word nut is on the bottom. And we're going to line it up so that this corner lines up with the word with the letter S on the opposite nut. And then what we do is we almost like try and crack in a safe or trying to crack a safe. You'll see we've got the position here. You just play around with it millimeter by millimeter until you are in the exact right position at which you can then slide the puzzle out into this position here. And you might notice now why we had to separate the nuts as far away from each other as possible because if we had them closer we'd only sort of get to this point here when these nuts were sort of getting in the way because it's these nuts that are now stopping us from separating all the four pieces. Now at this point, if you sort of do a bit of tilting, you'll be able to get the smaller nut 
out of the middle of the puzzle. That just, it gets a little bit in the way sometimes. So once you get that out, it sort of stops that from happening. Uh, then what we need to do is we need to just slide one of these nuts off the end of the opposite side bolt. And as soon as it does get past, like here, we don't have to do the same with the other side because that's in the right position still. We can then just slide that bolt out and separate that piece from there. We can then screw this bit off. You can go backwards and forwards. You can go around it properly and from there. And then from here, what we can do is we can now look and line up that last bolt. You'll see here that there's sort of a bit there and a bit there and a gap here and a gap here. Line that up with the actual uh, bolt piece and you'll be able to slide it off and separate the nutcase puzzle just like that. And for putting the nutcase back together, we're not going to do it exactly the same way that we separated them. We're going to do it a little bit differently. First of all, we're going to slide, I'll put one of the nuts on the bolt. We're going to do the same with the other piece. It doesn't matter which nut goes on which, the both can go on either one. You just need to flip them around if they're not quite lined up with where the gaps are on the bolt piece. Uh, from here, what we're then going to do is we're going to place the smaller nut on one of those bigger platforms of the bolt. And yeah, it, it can get in the way, so be mindful of future positions or future moves that we're about to do. If they don't seem to be working, just make sure it's not because the little bolt is getting in the way. So we're just going to sit it on this platform here and we're going to keep this piece relatively still so it's not going to get in the way too much. What we're then going to do is we're going to slide the puzzles or the two all five pieces back together. And we're going to then twist the bolts on. Now the difficulty with this bit is that before they are locked in place like they are now, they will slide around so you have to sort of keep them still as you're doing that. And once you've got them on sort of a quarter of the way, we don't want to be too far on. You're probably going to have to repeat this process a, a few times so that well, you'll, you'll realize why whilst you're doing it because when we push these together, these nuts are then going to sort of go in the wrong places. Or they're, they're going to be the thing that stop us from pushing it together completely. So what we need to do now is find those same positions. So uh, looking at, uh, as we look at it now, we've got those three slits here. We're going to use that middle one as our, uh, what do you call it, as our, uh, mark for lining these two nuts up. So we've lined up again between the S and the E on that on that line And then with the other piece, we're gonna have the word case on top the two blank gaps Is gonna line up with the S on the other side and we're gonna play around again like we're cracking a safe And we're gonna put it back together again. Just no, make sure that that little nut on the inside there isn't getting in the way of closing these two pieces and also remember that you could oh dear the, the little nut is extremely annoying for getting these positions because you can't tilt the puzzle like i just did and yeah without it sort of falling out or getting in the way somehow and also bear in mind that you might have it the wrong way around which i think i do so i'm going to swap sides we're still using that middle uh, point, but now we want to line it up exactly the same way between the S and the E on the right hand side. And yeah, you'll notice immediately we're sort of in the right position. So then we close these two pieces together and it's not quite closed because this nut is sort of getting in the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to close it as much as we can and then we're going to slide I'll twist this bit back into the middle a little, little bit more and then we're going to get that same position again. This one should be in the right same position still because it hasn't moved between the S and the E on the right and there we go. Yeah, on that corner mark lined up with the S on that side. And once you get to a point where it's not, not going further because of the nuts, you know that you have completely reassembled it into its original position. And that is how you solve the extremely challenging 
nutcase puzzle. So there it is. That is how you disassemble and then reassemble all five pieces of the nutcase puzzle. As I said, as we were going through it, it's important that when you're taking it apart that those nuts are as far apart from each other as possible. Otherwise, you don't get far enough apart to then unscrew the nut off the opposite side bolt and you have to re realign, the, realign the nuts and then separate a bit further before you can then carry on with, with disassembling the rest of it. And I can't emphasize enough how precise those nuts have to be before you can sort of separate. You can feel a million miles away from it actually separating, but in reality, you're less than half a millimeter. So if you are struggling to find that position, first of all, play around with both sides, make sure you're not on the, the wrong side, but just a bit of perseverance. Keep ticking with it, keep playing with it until you sort of get that magical feeling of, of separating those two ball pieces. Now hopefully this has helped you solve the nutcase puzzle for yourself. If you want to pick up more puzzles just like the nutcase puzzle, then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world. And until next time, I will see you later.